everyone. Good evening, good evening. Hello there, can you hear me? Yes, good evening, teacher. Hi, hi, good evening. How are you? How you doing? Hi, Fernando. I see Josue as well. Mary, Irving, good hi. evening, guys. Uh, Claudia, hi. Christian, good, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Maria Jose is coming here. How are you doing, guys? How are you? How was your weekend? Did you have a good one? Did you rest a little bit? Looks like everybody's quiet today. <laughs> okay, all right. It's I, I know, I know sometimes, but you know, Mondays are not that bad, I guess. Uh, and, and I think that traffic People is- People are always happy when it's Friday. Well, I like, I prefer Saturdays, I guess. Uh, so, but Mondays are not that bad, I think. So Mondays are just acceptable as well. All right. So good evening, guys. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for joining. I hope you're okay. Um, a lot of people have been reporting that they are sick or a little bit like getting sick. What about you guys? Are you feeling all right? Uh, like, are you having um, I, any of these strange symptoms related to COVID? Um, I feel better right now. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm great. Okay. I, great I did a that. test, so oh. I was negative. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That was good. Thank you. Good. Thank you. What about the rest of you guys? How, how, how are you feeling? Because, hi. Hi, Anna. Because I remember last week, a lot of you were like reporting and calling in sick, you know, or reporting that you were not feeling good and, and everything. So today also some guys uh, texted me that they were feeling a little um, sick, right? So, but are you all right? No symptoms, I guess. Um, this new um, COVID thing is getting to everybody, right? Um, myself, you know, I'm COVID positive. I, I was uh, diagnosed last week, I guess, but but still, you know, we gotta work. <laughs> so anyways, the symptoms are um, fewer, I would say. My voice is coming back, you know, and, and my voice is getting better again. So thank you so much for keeping here <laughs> and for being here. Um, yeah. Hi, hi Elvis, good evening. Oh, I didn't see Elvis last week. Yes. Were you with sick. us? I'm sick, but this week, um, oh, oh. oh, okay, yes, yeah, because I'm right now. Oh, yeah. okay, so you're feeling better now. Yeah. Oh, okay, great to hear that. Yeah, because normally I'm terrible with Sometimes I don't see your cameras, but I try to remember your name. So I was like, wait, Elvis, I haven't <laughs> seen Elvis. Okay, yeah. but I'm glad, yeah. I'm glad. Thank you guys uh, for turning on your camera. Thank you like you uh, for letting us uh, see you. I mean, uh, probably this is, I guess, the best way to have communication with you. And, um, and yeah, welcome to week number two. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be getting started this week with our second oh so you're still not a hundred percent yet okay but but i hope you get over soon i i hope you get over yeah um jasmine good evening i think i see claudia there um, i see noemi hi noemi good evening rafael good evening great to see you that will be hi hi you good evening all right guys uh, thank you so much for joining we are going to continue working a little bit with session number two this week, number two and three. And thank you so much for the guys who have already um, moved on and started working in the platform. Thank you for the ones who have already completed number one and number two. I saw a lot of people already working in number three, so that is amazing. Today we are going to be working in gerunds and infinitives. 
Um, did anybody have an issue with the platform accessing the exercises? Are you good? Yes, well. No, no issue with the platform? No problems with that? No, no Everything problem. is smooth? Okay, amazing. Good, good, good. So uh, coming you know, back again with this topic of gerunds and infinitives, I'm going to be presenting here part of the uh, of the presentation I got for you today. Give me one second um, so we can get it started here. Okay, so um, first and to get it started, let's just review a little bit of some vocabulary that we um, probably have not practiced before. You know, we are getting, you know, into practice after probably a couple of months um, uh, since we finished last year. So we are still in this process of coming um, and getting all the vocabulary back, memories back. And uh, so let's practice this a little bit. I have four pictures here, right? And uh, one of the pictures is actually this one. So we got chocolate. Um, guys, can you tell me any idea that comes to your mind about chocolate? or eating chocolate, what, what comes to your mind whenever you see one of this picture? Tell me something about chocolate. Besides chocolate is delicious, tell me something else. <laughs> so try to come up with some ideas. Or here we have, for example, a dog. Um, you can tell me something about walking a dog. I have a watermelon. So you can give me, I don't know, any idea that comes to your mind with a watermelon. I have coffee, coffee beans. So don't write it down, just tell me some ideas. You can activate your microphone guys and give me any idea that comes to your mind. Anything? It's Monday. <laughs> okay. Dark chocolate is good for the stress. Oh, okay, okay. So dark chocolate is good for stress. Like you eat chocolate and you feel better. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, nice. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm not into choc. I'm not a big chocolate fan, you know, because I get hyperactive, <laughs> especially <laughs> white chocolate. So white chocolate makes me crazier. <laughs> okay, give me some other ideas, guys. So dark chocolate is good for the stress. Okay, for me, uh, the best chocolate I have ever eaten mm -hmm. is from Belgium. I think I have never heard about that. Is that the name of the brand? Yeah, no, it's for Bel Belgium. Oh, Belgium. Oh, yeah. okay. Can you find it here in El Salvador? Yes, you can find in Walmart or Prismar. What is the name of the brand? I bought there. Uh, for example, I tell hold on. I have a box, but I don't, I don't remember where. <laughs> oh, okay. Or, or or the brand name, if you can like recall it, like the brand, the name of the brand. So you have, I know, Hershey uh, Kisses, so the brand probably that can give us an idea. So Belgium chocolate, okay. Yeah, it's a Belgian chocolate, exactly. Oh, okay. So maybe you, you find the box and you can tell us. <laughs> okay. Exactly, but, Walmart or Yes? <laughs> For me, uh, we have a plan uh, of chocolate. You have a pan? Plan. The plan. Oh, a cocoa, yeah. like a cocoa tree. Yeah. Oh, nice. Do you have it in your backyard, <laughs> in your house? Yes, in <gasps> my garden. Oh, yes, cool. Plan. One, one. Oh, but one, one is good. So, you know, when it's ready, you can <laughs> yes. mix it with, with sugar. The family and, uh -huh. made, made, the, the <clears throat> made the process. Yeah, so process that is homemade. The, 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 the chocolate. Uh-huh, so, so homemade chocolate. chocolate. Exactly, mm -hmm. That's some, that is super delicious. Yes, Sophia, tell us. Yes. Uh, hello, teacher. I don't Hi, understand the talk. Oh, the pretty topic. much. No, 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 no. This is just vocabulary review. So just give us any idea that comes to your mind whenever you see any of these four pictures. Ah, uh, an mm -hmm. idea. Chocolate, for example, in Valentine's Day, I, I eat 
chocolate. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. No, that, that's okay. That, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. Guys, uh, thank you so much for that. What about this one? Let's go ahead and move to the second, to the watermelon. What comes to your mind with this one? Don't tell me just like watermelon is delicious, watermelon is fresh. Try to give me a little bit more of info. Sorry, Sophia. Watermelon is, is a fruit. Fresh fruit when okay. is when the weather is hot. Oh, is fresh fruit. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. I think I had another voice as well. Watermelon is my favorite fruit. Okay. Is um um uh, is very good. Uh, a slim down. <laughs> a slim down. Oh, okay. Can you that? That? Oh, that? so you can take it. I mean, you can eat it like too. Oh, watermelon is my favorite fruit. Is, All right. Uh, watermelon is very good as is correct. It's, it's slim down. It's slim down. No, slim, okay, slim, it. slim was okay, slim was okay. So you can eat it, yeah, to slim eat down. It. Okay. Slim I didn't down. know the second part. So that sounds interesting. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, cool, cool. What about coffee, guys? What comes to your mind whenever we like see coffee here? <clears throat> no, I mean? I need a cup of coffee every day. <laughs> you need a cup of coffee for every example, day. For example, some days I take in, for example, three or four cup of wow, coffee. That's a lot. In the morning, in the middle morning, uh, after lunch, and the night. <laughs> wow. Okay. Some that's days, a lot. That's I would say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whenever I have coffee after 4 p.m., I cannot uh, go to bed early. So that's a little hard. But sounds nice. Just know me. Tell us. In my case, I don't like coffee. No. Or chocolate. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? But like you... I like to eat watermelon, especially uh -huh. when it is freeze. Oh, okay. Like with chocolate. No, watermelon. Yes, I mean the watermelon with chocolate, like I skim a watermelon. Uh, no, only watermelon, please. But frozen watermelon. Yes. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I I thought you were talking about like frozen watermelon with chocolate. <laughs> oh, okay. But I cannot believe that you don't like coffee. I'm like, what? Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> okay, interesting. Guys, anybody else doesn't drink coffee? I, I sometimes like drink coffee. Uh, sometimes, okay. Yes. I, I think I hear somebody else, a male voice. Teacher. Yes. I'm so sad because I can't um, drink coffee. Why not? Uh, it's bad. It's bad to my to my health. Very bad, and I I have two days with not drinking coffee. Two days. So sad. Two days, yes. Wow, okay, all right. Well, I have heard that for some illness or for some symptoms, uh, coffee is bad. Um, in my case, I am not supposed to drink coffee because of my teeth, but I do it. <laughs> so coffee is super delicious. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry that you cannot do it. <laughs> okay, and guys, I want to listen to everybody's voices. What about this one? What, what can you tell me about dogs? A golden retriever is a good hunting dog. Oh, okay. And you named the, the uh, like the breed of the dog. Very interesting. Yes. Okay. All right. What else can sure. you tell me about this one, guys? Yes. And coffee is, is stimulating um, and very good. And mm -hmm. um, Como se dice salud? Health? Uh, salud. Salud. Health. Health. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, very good set. So, okay. if... Thank you, yes. If I don't drink coffee in the morning, <laughs> then I get a headache. Okay, <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> because the same happened to me. I mean, after 30, mm -hmm. I think that that is very common. <laughs> so your body gets used to coffee and then you, we get headaches. Okay, that's so sad. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. It's, uh, it's thank okay you so much I, for sharing that. Yes? I, it's, it's okay if I say that I say I like to buy coffee beans. Yes. And grinding. Grind them? Mm -hmm. Grinding before preparing, preparing. So you like to prepare them in your house? Oh, exactly. Wow. We, I admire you coffee. because the process is not that easy. Um, okay. Oh, it's easy. It's easy. So you have a grinder, you have the machine. We have the machine. Oh, uh, so cool. And the beds, uh, the beds, como digo, forma de tomar. Way. Uh, the best way. The best way is mm -hmm. take it uh, out sugar. No, como digo, sin azúcar. Uh, yeah, that, that can be bitter. So you can take it bitter uh -huh. or with no sugar, right? With no sugar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's very interesting. I have never tried to grind it. I prefer to to buy just, you know, the bottle, the ready bottle coffee. <laughs> okay, but thank you so much for sharing that. Okay, guys, I brought this topic to you because we are going to be checking gerunds and infinitives and the structure of sentences is quite similar. So you will see this in a couple of seconds. Uh, but before getting started with this, let's go ahead and check um, previously or last week, we were checking the gerunds are the ing verbs and infinitives are the two verbs, to eat, to go, to sleep, to etc. So let's take a look at the following things. Here we have chocolate, here we have dogs, here we have watermelon, and here we have coffee. Okay, so let me just go ahead and what we are going to do now is to make the use, make use of gerunds and infinitive as subject. That means, to start using them in a sentence. So we have coffee, we have chocolate, we have watermelon, and we have a dog. Okay, first, let's go ahead and uh, it's, let's start with a bird. Okay, Not, normally, what can you do with, a, with coffee? Do you drink it? Do you buy it? Do you sell it? Let's use this word um, that is uh, drink, okay. Uh, with chocolate, let's eat. use it. Mm -hmm. With watermelon, eat. eat. Eat, let's try to change it. Let's use a buy, buy. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, with buy. a dog? Yeah. Wash. Sure. Wash, okay, sell. that's good. <laughs> sell, no, don't sure. sell dogs, yes? <laughs> But the chocolate, maybe a drink? Maybe. Maybe a drink? Like drinking you... chocolate. Yeah, yes. That could be, I mean, chocolate, we, when we say eat chocolate, we are talking about chocolate bars, right? Like like the sneaker bar, yes. like the, uh-huh, so that would be a bar. Okay, there is just a little something, guys. We cannot say, for example, drink cho drink coffee is. This is not possible. So what we do is to use a gerund or an infinitive to talk about this activity. For example, drink, I can start and say, drinking coffee is. Ah, now it makes sense. Okay. So we are talking about the activity. Okay. This is not a verb anymore. This is an activity. So drinking coffee is. I don't know, drinking coffee is healthy. Drinking coffee is good for your health. Drinking coffee uh, can damage your teeth or can change the color of your teeth, right? So this is going to be the subject of my sentence. Now I have eat. 
I'm going to use, I'm not going to use here drinking. Um, I'm not going to use ING. I'm, I'm going to change this. I can say eating chocolate is, and this is okay. Uh, but I'm going to change this and I'm going to change it for um, the two, okay? To eat chocolate, to eat chocolate bars. All right. And again, I'm going to use here is what I can use um, can be. Can be. Let me just move this one. I have here buy watermelon, but we cannot say just buy watermelon is. So we need to change. We need to modify the first word so it makes sense. Buying watermelon. If you pay attention, it is very common to use is as the main verb, or you can use another auxiliary like can be, will be, was, uh, etc. But normally the most common is to use verb be. Um, I can use here buying, but also I can use here to buy. And the, and the meaning does not change that much to buy watermelon is or buying watermelon is. So both are okay. Drinking coffee is to drink coffee is. Or gouache, I cannot use gouache. So washing dogs is. So if you check, um, all of these are the subject of the sentences, all right? Now, can you complete the whole idea? Because this is not an idea. I mean, this is not a sentence. This is only a phrase, uh, something that I'm saying. So can we complete it? Drinking coffee is, what comes to your mind, guys? Drinking coffee is um, the most, uh, mm -hmm. the, I, I don't know how to say. <laughs> You're la good. Cosa importante en la mañana. <laughs> oh, the most okay. important. Okay, yeah, so coffee. it is the most, the most important, important thing in the morning. Okay, or the first activity to do in the morning, for example. At the morning. Uh huh. So the most important activity to do. To do. Teacher. Yes. It's an activity to, to to wake up in the morning. Okay. So drinking coffee is the first activity to wake up. Okay. Okay. That definitely works. Okay. That's nice. Um. So drinking after coffee is the most a, important. After to take a shower. Okay. So drinking coffee is what I do after I take a shower. That's also another possibility. Very nice. All right. So all of them, they definitely work. But remember the subject of your sentence is this part. Drinking coffee is not drinking. It's not a verb anymore. This is not an, this is only an activity. Now help me with the second one. To eat chocolate can be. So to eat chocolate bars can be? Can be unhealthy. Unhealthy. Like, but, but for uh, your the health. Opposite. The opposite to healthy. Yes, yes, of course. Unhealthy. Yes, so to eat chocolate bars can be unhealthy. Okay, what other to, ideas come to your mind? To eat chocolate bars can be, um, I, I, I forget that. That <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's okay. So whenever you remember, <laughs> when it comes back oh, to you, it. tell us. Addictive. Okay. Addictive oh, addictive, yeah. yeah. Can be addictive, so to eat yes. by, uh, to eat chocolate bars can be addictive. Okay, okay. Yes, I have heard so. Okay, what else? Teacher. Yep. Yes, yes. I don't like uh, the chocolate. I I prefer the, the fruit. Okay. Always, so, always so. I prefer the fruit. All right, so how can you make your sentence using this? To eat chocolate like bars can be? Chocolate bars. Okay. It's unlikely? It's correct if I think unlikely. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. Um, no, um, you wouldn't use unlikely. So probably to eat chocolate bars can be a waste of money. Uh, that can be unnecessary unnecessary uh -huh. disgusting but disgusting is a very hard adjective so i wouldn't use it um what but about this I, yeah if i want to say uh, i don't like the chocolate bars what can i say it 
No, I mean, your sentence is okay, but the but if you want to use gerunds or infinitives, you have to say something about the activity, about buying uh, chocolate bars and your feelings about that. So for me to chocolate uh, to buy chocolate bars is unnecessary. I mean, you don't need to spend a lot of okay. money on it, uh -huh, but you have to put your feelings on it. What about this one, guys? Buying watermelon is, I would say. Uh -huh. buy, buying watermelon in store. Mm -hmm. Buying watermelon in a store. But mm. we need to complete the idea. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to complete the idea. In my case, for example, I think that buying a watermelon, a good watermelon, is a special skill because uh, it's uh, uh, not easy, you know, for people to select the correct Teacher. watermelon, right? Yes? Teacher. Teacher. Watermelon is refreshing. Yeah, but we are talking about the action and buying a watermelon. So what do you think about Buy buying water. the watermelon? Okay. Uh -huh. Yes? Buying the watermelon is the more important action for me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's a good sentence. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Buying watermelon is, is expensive in, on Asia. Buying a watermelon is excessive? Expensive. Oh, it's expensive in Asia. Oh, I like it. Very good sentence. Okay, okay, cool. What about this one, guys? Washing dogs. So washing dogs is washing dogs. To me, washing dogs is, is very stressful. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. So washing dogs is a stressful. It's relaxing. Okay. Yeah. Relaxing. Okay. The opposite. All right. What else? It's very funny too. It's funny. It's very funny, funny too. Okay. I would say difficult because my dog is big. <laughs> so washing dogs is difficult. All right. So good guys. Um, in general, this is what we call gerunds and infinitive. And this is just number one. Uh, before I move on with the next slide, do you have any question here? Clear? <laughs> we will be practicing this, so don't worry that much. Yes. yes. I don't remember the difference between gerunds and and ing form. Or Sorry. It's the same. Um, gerund is the thing, or what happens is this: the ing form and the gerund, um, they are just different in grammar purposes. You know, no in forma because all, both son ing, pero el nombre cambia por propósitos gramaticales. So, no queremos que ustedes sean como masters in grammar. So, no vamos a irnos así como in detail. Simplemente es como ver cómo se utiliza, right? Uh, son lo mismo. They are the same. But we will not get into detail because of that. It's more about grammar. So, guys, for us to start practicing this, let's go ahead and let's check some verbs that are very commonly uh, followed by gerunds. Look at these examples. Here we have some of the most common verbs followed by a gerund. That means after this verb, after enjoy, after fancy, discuss, dislike, finish, mind, suggest, etc. I'm going to use ing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Mauricio, you can you read that for us, please? Okay. Um... Here are some of the most common verbs that are used usually followed by the gerund. Enjoy. I enjoyed living in France. I read all or? Oh, just please continue. Okay. Fancy. I, I fancy seeing a film tonight. Discuss. We discussed going on a whole on a holy holiday together uh, dislike i dislike waiting for buses finish uh, we finish preparing for the meeting mine i don't mind coming early suggest i suggest 
staying at the Grand Hotel recommend. Uh, they recommended meeting earlier. Keep. Uh, he keep working, although he felt ill. Avoid. She avoid talking to her boss. Thank you so much. So after we use any of these verbs, for example, avoid the next verb, it, also, it always, always has to be ing. So for example, in the morning, I avoid um, doing the dishes or I avoid cooking. So the next one has to be ing. When we say I enjoy, I enjoy doing, I enjoy reading, I enjoy buying. Or um, last week we check mine. So after mine, we always use ing. So uh, this list of verbs, I will ask you to maybe take a picture, right? Uh, to maybe write them down somewhere um, because we have to practice them. We have to memorize them. And remember, if I say, for example, suggest, I suggest to, or I suggest ing, what is the best way to say it? So if you check it out, we have suggest ing. So take a picture, please. Maybe you can share this in the group. Um, so everybody has record of it. Yes, Sophia, tell us. Um, well, I'm learning. <laughs> if you can do it in English, that would be better. For <laughs> example, aquí donde dice, we discuss going on holiday together. Puedo poner, we discuss uh, tú, eh, puedo usar tú. No, um, with this one, no. Go, to go on holiday, to go. Um, no. and, exactly, and that is, the, that is the reason why these verbs are followed by ing. Even though it sounds normal, that wouldn't sound correct to the ear. Um, if you say like, for example, like it is okay. I like going to the beach. I like to go to the beach. Both are good. But in the case of these verbs, it is not. So if you say we discussed, that would be only ing. We discussed traveling. We discussed uh, working part time. So that would be ing. The same happens with the uh, rest of them. Finish, my, suggest, recommend, etc. That would be ing. So this is why you can take a picture uh, and try to memorize the verbs that go um, that need ing after them. I'm gonna show you now a second list, and mm. this, yes. So, sorry, teacher. In this case, we need to pay attention at the first verb, not at the verb with in the room. That is correct. Don't. Okay. I mean, this is the modification, right? But the verb yeah. that is important here and the verb that we have to remember, it's actually the one that is right here. Enjoy. Okay. Fancy. In English, fancy is not very common, uh, but in British, yes. Discussed, dislike, finished, mine, like we checked last week, suggest, uh, recommend, uh, uh, kept, I mean, these are not the only verbs because remember that in English we have plenty. So these are just the most common verbs that need a, like a little modification. But that modification is related with um, uh, put an action uh, or, or, or what is the, the meaning? When you have two case. verbs. No, only when you have two verbs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only when ah, you okay. have two. Okay. So for example, I enjoy... If you say, I enjoy chocolate, that's okay, that's fine. But if you're talking about an activity, I enjoy going, oh, that implies an activity. It is never possible to say, I enjoy go. And you cannot do that. So I enjoy okay. going. We need to modify the second. But it's something like uh, an action, really. Uh, for example, I enjoy living. It's like uh, an action, no. Or yeah. I, I dislike waiting. Or not finish anymore. preparing. Well, in this no. case, in this case, that would be an activity rather than an action. That would be an activity. Mm -hmm. Ah, activities. Okay, yes. okay. This is why. Okay. I think Thanks. somebody is asking about the meaning of fancy. 
uh, because the second says, I fancy seeing a film tonight. Fancy is like love, like I really like it, but not in American English. This is more for British. Mm -hmm. But yes, that's the meaning. Just know I me. Mean. Teacher, I need to clarify some things. In this case, when we use the first verb, it will be always will be in past. No, uh, the first verb doesn't matter. Uh, the first verb can be in past, present. This is past. This is present. I don't see an example in future, but the first verb doesn't really matter that tense. You can just say in present, past, uh, perfect, right? And um, let, me, let me just think here about an example. Okay. So, okay. Imagine I tell you, for example, um, Last time I traveled, I had a bad experience uh, with um, American Airlines, for example. So in the future, I will avoid, and I know that after avoid, I'm going to use ING. So I will avoid using, oh wait, using American Airlines um, for a flight, all right? So even though I'm using here will, that doesn't really affect the second one. Uh -huh. So that these verbs, remember that this doesn't have present, past, or future anymore. It's only ing. Um, yes, let me, give me one second. I see two hands up. Uh, no, but Noemi, one is yours. Enrique, tell me. Teacher, it's necessary to separate the first and the second verb with the particle two but it's unnecessary. With the particles too. What do you mean? Yes, you have, a, for example, I enjoy reading. Mm -hmm. uh, can I say I enjoy to read or it's not mm -hmm. necessary the particle too? You cannot do it. No, 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 uh, let me just go ahead. I enjoy. <clears throat> read only accepts ing. You can say too, but it's not very common. Um, this is a gerund. So you use either, you, um, you can use, I enjoy reading. It is not very common to say, I enjoy to read, I have to say, but let me go with a verb that accepts both, like permits yeah. both. So if I say, for example, I like reading, this is okay. But if I come and I say, I like to reading, oh, that is not okay. That is not possible or reading or to read, one or the I other. I enjoy to reading. No, that is I not correct. I enjoy to reading, it's not correct. That, that would be it's incorrect. Uh -huh. That would be grammatically, that would be a strange to listen to grammatically. Mm -hmm. I like to read, I like reading, that's it. Mm -hmm. And wow. all right, let's okay. go guys okay. with the second part and probably you, can, you come to have more questions. So we will pra continue practicing this. Let's go with infinitive. Here we have um, some common verbs that are followed by two. Remember that two is only the infinitive form, right? So she agreed to give a presentation at the meeting. So after agree, we are going to use to agree to. Yeah. Um, let me just go ahead. Some voices I haven't heard. Maria Ivania. Ivania, can you please help me read them? Uh, what teacher? Um, <clears throat> and here are some common verbs uh, following the two and the infinitive. Agree. She agreed to give a presentation at the meeting. Uh, thank Continue. you. Continue. Yes, please. Ask. I asked to leave early. Mm -hmm. I asked him to leave early. Uh, decided, we decided to out for dinner. Her, he had to clean the kitchen. He had the pharmacy. Mm -hmm. 
to clean. The mm -hmm. plan, she plan to buy a new pot next year. Hope, I hope to pass the exam. Learn, they are learning to sing. Want, I want to come to the party. I want, I want him to come to the party. Mm -hmm. Good life. I could like to see her tonight. Uh -huh, tonight. I could like you to see her tonight. Per promise you. Promise. Mm -hmm. Promise. We promise not to be late. Thank you so much. All right. So thank you so much for reading, Ivania. So here we have the most common verbs that are followed by two. So ask, decide, help, plan. Like when you say, I plan to, I need to, I hope to, I learn to, I learn to play the guitar, I learn to make some tortillas, I want to. It is never possible to say, I want coming. Uh, you will never listen to that. And I would like to. So this is very interesting here. Look, it is not only like, but would like. With like, you can use both, but with would like, it is not possible. You only can use two. I would like to travel. I would like to buy an ice cream. I would like to watch a movie tonight. So would like, and then promise. I promise to be late. I promise not to be late. Look at the negative form. This is very interesting. So the negative way, how we do it is this way. We promise not to. I promise not to be late. Guys, if you have to promise something to you, right? Something that you will not do in the future, what will you promise to yourself? Yeah. Something that you will not do. Uh, for example, I spend a lot of time uh, watching series. So I promise not to spend a lot of time watching series. What about you? What is something that you promise not to do in the future? I buy maybe too many pieces of clothes that I don't need. So I promise not to buy a lot of clothes in the future. Yes, Enrique. Teacher. Yes. I promise not to drink coffee again because it's so bad to my health. Very, very oh, bad. sorry to hear about that. All right, very nice sentence, but for you. Okay, so I, exactly, I promise not to drink coffee. All right, anybody else? What is the promise you will make to yourself? Maybe I promise not to take a cell phone when when we when we are in, uh, in the dinner time. Hi, very nice. Okay, sounds like a good promise. What about the rest mm -hmm. of you guys? What do you promise? I promise not to waste my money. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, good. We, you know, this is recorded, so <laughs> okay. So, what else do you promise? Even if we change the verb and yes. Uh, I promise go to the gym. Oh, okay. You promise to go to the gym and imagine that this is something that you will not do in the future. So probably I promise not to procrastinate, you know, my health anymore. So that can definitely work. I'm gonna write it in the chat, uh, procrastinate. So procrastinate, procra well, I'm sorry, I made a mistake with the spelling. Procrastinate. Okay, so that refers, yeah, procrastinate. So procrastinate is when you leave everything for the last minute. This can also be used uh, for your health. When you say, oh, I'm not sick, it's only a flu. <laughs> I'm not sick, it's only a Tomorrow. fever. So that is procrastinating. Tomorrow I will do. Tomorrow I will do. Exactly. That For is example. the one. Mm -hmm. That's right. 
Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and let's do the following. We need to practice this, but the best way to understand gerunds and infinitives is practicing. So I have for you a couple of questions that I want you to practice with your classmate. Um, look at this one. Don't worry or don't think too much. What is the correct way? Oh, I need to use a gerund. I need to use an infinitive. No, because when you're talking, immediately, whenever you listen one of these verbs, you will remember, oh, ing. So don't think too much. I, I need to, uh, mandatory, include a gerund and infinitive. For example, look at this. What do you always avoid, avoid doing until the last minute? And you will come to say, oh, I avoid. After avoid, what do you use, guys? ing or to? I avoid to do the dishes or I avoid to uh, washing the dishes? To or ing? ing. ing. So I avoid cooking, I avoid doing the dishes, I avoid doing. So that, would, that is when the general and infinitive is necessary. We have, for example, what are some things you enjoy doing? Uh, look, ing. Is there anything you have quit recently? I didn't include quit in the verbs, but after quit, we use ing. So quit is finish, something that you have stopped doing recently. What do you miss most about your childhood? And what do you often discuss with your friends? What do you use after miss? So that would be ing. And what do you use after discuss? Do you remember ing or two? ing. Mm -hmm. ing. So after all these verbs, we are going to use ing. So please take a picture of this. Okay, we are going to, we have a couple of minutes. We have 13 minutes to do this. So we are going to practice these questions. Try not to give an answer, like a short answer. Try to elaborate it a little bit more. Try to give details so we can practice as much as we can. Give me just a moment. Only discuss it, guys. Don't think much about uh, gerund or infinitive. Just try to discuss them. And uh, I'm going to send you to a small group so you can practice for a couple of minutes and then I will bring you back. So let's go and enjoy it. Okay, um, let's go with um, Veronica. What are some things you enjoy doing every day? How about every week? Mm, I like to stay with my, with my son and my daughter. And... I like to cook. I like to cook. Yes. I like to cook. That's uh that's interesting. Um well, is there anything else, anything else that you have quit recently? 
repeat, please. Uh, it's for anything else you have quick recently. Um, Hi guys, how you doing here? Uh, probably we can, because of the time, maybe we can do them like in general. So everybody can participate and give uh -huh, answers a little bit because we only have like uh, seven minutes or so. Uh -huh. So I, I think that Irving was uh, talking about question number three. Like if there is anything you have quit recently, quit is like a stopped or finished, something that you don't do anymore. I have to quit uh, Coca-Cola. Yes, good for you. Okay. When? When did you quit? Uh, I had quit to quit. For example, uh, to wash the dish. Wash the, the dish. All right, all right, and that is correct, but let me just elaborate this a little bit better because quit means that you don't do that anymore. So quit means, for example, that Goberto quitted, uh, he, he quit Coca-Cola. So that Goberto doesn't drink Coca-Cola anymore. Um, if you say, I quit washing the dishes, it is okay. But that means, ya nunca en su vida va a lavar los trastes again. <laughs> so, and I don't think that will happen. So it is possible, but probably the meaning can be a little different. Um, Dagoberto, how, when was the last time you drank Coca-Cola? I, uh, I quick to drink Coca-Cola uh, for last week. Ah, wow. oh, last week. Okay, we good for you. Kudos for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, wh what is the goal? One month? One year? What is the objective? Uh, forever. Oh, wow. Okay, I hope you can achieve it because Coca-Cola is so addictive, as addictive as coffee. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I okay. Agree. Yeah, so I really hope you can make it. All right. Okay, guys, so you can continue with the rest. I'll see you in some minutes. Okay. The people are doing. We need to practice with the teacher here. <laughs> so. <laughs> Hello, teacher. We are talking about COVID. <laughs> As long as you do it in English, I don't mind. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yes, yes. We, are uh, we are practicing English. Yeah, I mean, uh -huh. as long as you do it in English, I don't mind because that's practice. So that's okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How, how do you continue, teacher, with your... I don't know if you have codes. Kusi, do you tell me? Yeah. Well, actually, that COVID... <laughs> I do uh, COVID. Yeah, COVID still? positive. Um, yeah, I I got it. I got the, the test last Wednesday. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. But my symptoms were bad. I don't think I have Omicron. I think I have Delta. Um, because I couldn't um smell, I couldn't taste anything. Really? Um, yeah, I mean, I got like all the symptoms that, that are in the, in the checklist. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. My voice is getting better now. I, uh, yeah. my voice was a little deep in the morning, but now it's okay. I don't have fever anymore. Uh, but last week, well, that was bad. Uh -huh. But thank you for asking. Now I feel definitely better now. Yeah, what are you, what are you uh, taking for two? Um, I have antibiotics, uh -huh. so I'm taking some antibiotics. I'm having some um, anti flu them, something like that. Uh huh. And yeah, I'm do getting. You think that you have COVID. I'm oh, sorry. They... Do you no. think that you have COVID? No, I got the test. <laughs> yeah, I tested and positive. They, and they uh -huh. give you the quarantine. Um. 
Yeah. Yes and no. <laughs> no, I mean yes. I got I got the the I don't know how to call it because it's not quarantine anymore. I think it's okay. only like doctor's leave, so you're supposed to be in your house 15 days. Um, but I'm I'm working from home, so I don't really mind. Uh huh, and, and I'm feeling better, so yeah. Oh, okay, but you call you call at one. Mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, one two three or oh, no one one yes, three two uh -huh. one three two yes uh, the minute I call, or something like that. but I have to be honest with you. Um, in the last five days, uh -huh. the number of cases have gone up so fast that uh, they don't have the same service. Before they took the test or they take you the test one day after, for example. Uh -huh. But today, this is my day number five and they haven't taken or they haven't given me any kit. So... I just have to recommend you guys be careful, take all the necessary measures because <laughs> they, have lost, they have, yes, I'm playing with them. <laughs> no, the thing is that I have my cell phone and I have been playing. I always play with something. <laughs> um, yeah, play with your hands. I, I hadn't paid attention. That is a big vapor of. <laughs> Yeah, no, but you got yeah. to be careful because uh, it's gone out of their hands completely. So that is bad. Mm -hmm. But but thank you. Yeah, I'm definitely better. What about you yeah. guys? I remember, Monica, your voice was so deep. Yeah, I made the voice for Terminator. <laughs> 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 no, seriously, teacher, do you remember? I can't speak I was like a boy. Yeah, teacher. I remember your voice was super, super deep. No, yeah, but your I, voice sounds clearer now. Yeah, that is my natural voice, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, yeah, hopefully, you know, everybody gets uh, better, like super, super soon. Well, guys, yeah. I it was a really nice chat with you. I couldn't listen to Maria or to, to both Marias. <laughs> I can listen to Ana Maria or Maria Jose. Girls, hello. <laughs> they are very quiet. They, they are just listening, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, um, I, 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 there she is. <laughs> I call teacher. Are you sick? Yes. <laughs> What is wrong? What's the matter? Is um, eh, la semana pasada estuve empecé así. Last oh, do, is that COVID? No. <laughs> a flu. No. Only a flu. No. What? Um, no. Okay, something different, something else. Uh, oh, okay. me dijeron okay. que era un resfriado normal. Oh, okay. Just a cold. So it is just a cold. Okay. Well, I hope you get better, but just be careful, you know, and, and take all the medicine the doctor gives you. Up. <laughs> well, <laughs> acetaminophen kills everything. <laughs> okay, guys, Um, because of the time, let's go back. But it was a nice chat. So thanks so much for that. Give me a second here. Thank you guys for coming back. Um, that was a very nice chat and uh, that was really cool to listen to you guys. Um, time definitely flies here. So el tiempo se nos va pero increíblemente fast. So um, as we have been doing estos días anteriores para que practiquemos un poquito, you know, con ustedes mismos, no con alguien más, sino con ustedes mismos. I will ask you guys um, que seleccionen una de estas, siempre one of these five questions. Son 30 segundos de práctica, no es mucho lo que les estamos pidiendo, right? only 30 seconds practice. Elaboren su respuesta. Si la necesitan escribir, do it, no problem. Um, y practiquenla mucho, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. No para memorizarla, sino para que nuestra fluidez incremente y nuestra pronunciación sea mejor. Si hay alguna palabra que no les sale bien, que no la escuchan bien, um, váyanse a algún diccionario, escuchen la pronunciación, you know, 
until you get it ready. Y hasta que ustedes digan, I like that way it works. I like the way it sounds, right? So that is my homework for today. Please, para esta semana tenemos que terminar la sección número dos y número tres en la plataforma. So les pido, avancemos un poquito. Son alrededor de dos ejercicios nada más por sección, please. All right. Thank you, guys. Gracias por su nice attendance. And nos vemos mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good yeah. night. See you tomorrow. Bye, Bye guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Have a good night. Give me one sec. Oh my God, I cannot finish this. Hold on. You can log out, no problem. <laughs>